ask if she has ever had a kidney infection or is experiencing any flank pain. Flank pain is the hallmark sign of kidney infection, and these infections are usually accompanied by fever. Okay. Ask your patient if she has noticed any lumps in the breast area or discharge from the nipple. Are her breasts painful? Current guidelines say women should commence mammograms by age 50 and that they should be done every two years. And have you had a pap smear in the past? Um, it's been a solid year, I'd say. Okay. So it's and was it normal? Yes. The last time? Yes, it was. Okay. And do you have any concerns about your breasts or your periods? Take a menstrual history, including age at menarche, date of last period, whether periods are regular or irregular, how long they usually last, and whether flow is heavy, moderate, or light. Flow is usually approximated by asking how many pads or tampons are used each day. Does she experience cramps before or during her period? And if so, are they strong enough to interfere with normal activities? And what actions does she take to relieve them? Ask if any other symptoms are associated with her periods, including bloating, breast tenderness, or emotional changes. Ask if she has had any spotting between periods. Is she having any vaginal discharge, or does she have a history of vaginal infection? This is a good time to ask if she has any symptoms of a UTI, or if she has had UTIs in the past. And any problems with intercourse? No. Okay. No pain with intercourse? No. Any unusual discharges or? Um, there's a little white discharge uh, just c uh, recently as I got the bladder infection, or I think I did. Okay. Um, is it itch? No. Next, ask if she is sexually active and if she is using any form of birth control. If yes, inquire about the types of birth control methods being used. Has she had multiple partners in the last six months? Or does she have any history of a sexually transmitted infection? Last one. Um, about a year ago. Ask about her obstetrical history, including whether she has been pregnant, and if so, how many times. If she has been pregnant, ask how many children she has. Also ask if she has had any miscarriages, abortions, stillbirths, premature births, or other problems with her pregnancies. Ask if she has routine gynecologic checkups. Yes. Last time. Yes, it was. Okay. Perfect. Provide your patient with a gown and drape for the next portion of the assessment. Take a look. Okay. Most abnormalities of the renal system are diagnosed with urine testing and various radiologic exams. However, if a urine specimen is to be collected, it should be visually inspected for color and clarity and the findings noted. Some vitamins and some medications can alter the color of urine, as can certain foods. For example, the antibiotic rifampin turns urine, sweat, and tears orange, while many vitamins cause the urine to become bright yellow. Beets may leave a pink color in the urine. However, liver disease, some toxic chemicals, dehydration, blood, kidney stones, and urinary tract infections can all alter the color and clarity, so deviations from the norm should be reported. 